Ah. Th thanks for uh, letting me uh, sleep in your apartment for a week. Uh, toodles. Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Black. Random lock. Randomized Nuzlocke. What, what, even, what even is the title? Random lock? That's probably what I'll put. I think that's what I put for most of the other ones. Anyways, we're still in Castilia City. And uh, we're gonna probably finish up Castilia City. <laughs> that's that's the plan for today. So I believe we talked to this dancer. He has a challenge for us. Hey, trainer! Show me your <laughs> your paces. Give me a whirl. All right, a fight is like a dance. And then you just fight too, you know? Throws you into the pond or the fountain, I guess. Elite Four <laughs> Liliana. This is elite. We're fighting an Elite Four member right now, guys. This guy. Or women, woman, you know, Liliana, that's, not, you know, this person is part of the Elite Four. Silverwind will be super effective. Oh, you're taunting me now. Is that what you're doing? Is that what you're doing? You're taunting me? Bro, you taunting me? Elite Four member, everybody. First one out. There's three more of the Elite Fours out there. We gotta find them. If you defeat four Elite Four members, it's an automatic win. Actually, an automatic win would be fighting a champion. My move and slack power. Alright, let's get down. Oh my god. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Those are some smooth moves, no doubt. But it'd be even tighter if I had a group. Hey, you. Would you talk to the other dancers? The other Elite Four members? <laughs> if you fight both of them, blah, blah, blah. If you fight both of them, the three of us can group as a team. Yes. Same alpha as me. That guy's a dancer. Okay, so they are guys. <laughs> Alright, so we found two of them. One's in a building, one's like in an alleyway. Hey. <laughs> do you need something? What? You're looking for dancers for a team? It sounds very interesting, but I don't want to do a favor for someone who isn't stronger than me. Hey, let's have a battle. Fucking, this guy has some issues. What? You might be stronger than me, and I don't want to do something for someone who's stronger than me. What the hell, dude? Alright, Elite Four Cami. With the Skarmy. I guess. Go Poison Tail. Wait, isn't Skarmy part Psychic type? Ah! Ah! I should have done Pursuit. Yeah. God damn, that hurts so. I know it's a critical, but still. That hurts so much. Do like light screen or something. Water gun's fine. Ooh. Well, that was 21. But. Are we gonna. I think we'll be okay. Swift shouldn't do as much as water gun, right? Oh. 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 I did just about the same. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> I thought that would kill. It is one level higher, I guess. Let's go to Egg Woman. Woman, woman, ha! Alright, you big fat egg. No, don't do that. Why would you do that? Why? I, I mean, I know why, but still. I forgot I taught you Hurricane. <laughs> Use Hurricane. Ah, you wet my egg. I hate when my egg gets wet. Not bad. Honestly, it's the strongest move because you have no physical attack. So we're just gonna maybe sometimes land a hurt. This hoe. This fucking hoe. Oh, that's good. That will that'll help. If you could hit yourself, that would help a lot. Thank you. That helps. There's some crazy shit going down in this alley. Imagine you turn into this alley, like I gotta throw up my trash, and then you just see like fucking hurricanes and an egg and a star flying around. And the star shooting out more little stars. There we go. That star me put up a good fight. We almost lost Spermy. I was, I was reckless. You gotta be reckless sometimes, alright? 
Alright, we defeated two Elite Four members. My footwork is not quite as sharp. You're going to create a dance team, aren't you? It sounds very interesting. I'd like to join up. Cool, and we got one more, but I'll go to the Pokemon Center first. I need it. Alright, so I don't remember exactly where the last guy was. I just remember he was either inside a building over here or like on the dock, maybe. Oh yeah, here he is. What do you want? Oh, the dance team? You're going to introduce me to the team? Oh, then before that, let's have a Pokemon battle. Man, people just want to fight. That's how it is in the city. Elite Four Malcolm sent out a pet rat. Oh man, this guy's gonna be the hardest one, I bet you. I don't I don't think we're gonna win this one. I really don't. Like he has a pat rat. You know how godly pat rat is? It's banned in most competitive leagues because it's overused. It's a pseudo legendary Pokemon. Oh my god, we we beat a pseudo legendary pat rat. Oh my god. We're so good. I was off the beat. That's not the only thing you were off on. You should not maybe have that pat rat on your team. <laughs> oh, dance team? I'll join the team. I have to imagine the Pokemon are going to dance too. And so you have like Absol and it's like jumping around, throwing some winds around and stuff. And it's like flying around and it's like teamed up with the Starmie and the Starmie's flipping through the air and shooting stars and these tornadoes that the Absol's whipping up. And then you have a fucking pat rat right there standing on the side doing the fucking Gundam style. <laughs> it's just it's just not coming together anymore just because of that pat rat dance team's over also it's nice to finally be playing at night time i haven't played at night in a while i think the first episode or two were at night but uh the rest have been in the morning because that's the only time i could really record but i found some time to record at night which is good because this seems i like being at castilla city at night it looks pretty was that? I just heard like a rumble. I feel it. I don't know if that's thunder or is like somebody's car. Is there an earthquake? Is Godzilla attacking my city? I don't know. There's like no chance of rain, so I'm assuming it's Godzilla. Thanks, man. I've got the best team in the world here. That's how I feel. Oh, we got an amulet coin. Hell yeah, dude. He's all here. Make some money. We communicate by dancing. It's it's how we say happy things, sad things. How we say the world shines brightly. It's fucking twirls though. Hell yeah. Um, who does not have an item? Scholarship doesn't. Alright, scholarship, you wanna make me some money, bro? Because you're about to, whether you want to or not. There you go. <gasps> we could get ice cream now because it's not winter. They're sold out. <laughs> I think I was like, I got the last one, but he's still standing there. So what I was about to do was go get a uh, evolutionary stone because I realized one of the Pokemon on our team does need a evolutionary stone, and it's Spermy. He could have. I found out he evolves to level 39. I googled it right now. Um, but to get to his last form, he needs a Thunderstone. So I was gonna go get one of the stones for one of the you know, Pan Sage, Pan Seer, Pan Poor, but I just realized none of those are Thunderstones. So, um, but that means that Eviolite might come in handy, especially with Spermy, because his defense and special defense are actually pretty, pretty bad. What, 23, 26? They're little, literally his lowest stats if you don't include special tech. <laughs> Factually... That's correct. I just manipulated the information. I'm like, you know, this is true if you disregard everything else, you know? Anyways, um, I feel like I should be singing, like, Dancing in the moonlight underneath this little stoplight. But, um, it's not a stoplight, by the way. That's definitely not a... <sighs> Look, man, I'm not a city boy. I grew up in a small town. <laughs> I don't know the fancy terms. What, what are these? It's just a light. Can somebody can somebody ask Bruce what these are? What, it's, it's not a stoplight, not a spotlight. What the fuck are they? It's just it's just a, a it's just a light. What the fuck am I on about? I'm freaking out right now. I'm freaking out about the lights. So many lights. Oh, there's another one. 
Anyways, uh, I think we could just do the gym. All right, so here's the gym. I think there's an event before the gym, though. <gasps> oh, hey. Hey, Hatlin, I just challenged the gym leader, Berg. He's a seasoned gym leader. He made me work for that gym badge. But for me, bug-type Pokemon aren't much of a challenge. I'm going to hold you to that. If he doesn't have a single bug-type Pokemon, I'm never going to trust you again. I'm going to keep winning like this against all of the Unova Regents gym leaders. Then, I'll head for the Pokemon League and outperform the champion. Hey, hey, if you want to knock out three of the Elite Four right now, today, they're at the fountain, alright? At the park? Knock them out. One of them has a Pat Rat. Easy. <laughs> if I do that, everyone will admit what a strong trainer. Dude, you have issues. I want to be, I want to be strong. I want people to think I'm strong. Like, you're insecure, man. That will make me truly feel alive. Ah. Aha! You're the one who fought Team Plaza in Pinwheel Forest. If I remember, your name is Hatlin. What a stupid name. Coming to challenge the gym, I suppose. Ah, oh, sorry, but could you wait for a bit? I was informed that Team Plasma has shown up. In fact, come with me. I'm going to go to the dock at Prime Pier. Come with me, it leaves me. I don't know which one Prime Pier is. I don't know which one. I just know it's not this one. And it's not this one. And that... It actually could have been that one, but it's... It's probably this one. Hell yeah, my memory is good. Come on, this way. What's up? Team Plasma. They took this young lady's Pokemon. Hanlon, is there anything we can do? I like how Bianca is just... Bianca, it's kind of... Kind of convenient, don't you think? That any time a Pokemon goes missing, you're around. There to comfort the trainer who lost their Pokemon. Isn't that kind of convenient? I don't think it's convenient. I think it's suspicious. I think Bianca is part of Team Plasma. There's going to be a Pokemon Black and White 3 that comes out, and Bianca is going to be the leader. I'm predicting it right now. 2021. 2022. It'll come out. <laughs> Wait, when, when would it be the next mainline Pokemon game? 2023? Maybe 2022, actually. I don't know. We'll see. Hatlin, is there anything you can do? My Muna, Team Plasma took- Oh, your Pokemon took- Okay. Well, that changes it up a little bit. Also, when did you get a Muna? I heard this lady scream and ran after a thief as fast as I could. But this city is so big and so crowded, I'm afraid I'll lost them. Iris, you did everything you could. Now you know her name's Iris. But that's so bad. Taking people's Pokemon is really bad. Because it's really nice and people and Pokemon are together. They each have something the other doesn't and they help- We, we already know, you don't have to explain. No fear, we'll get that Pokemon back, right, Hatlin? Having said that, finding a person or a Pokemon here in Castilla City will be like finding a needle in a haystack. Hey, I'm right here. <gasps> I spy a gym leader. Last time we went, last time went so well, I thought I'd grab another Pokemon. Rethinking. I need to get out of here. <laughs> Hatlin, let's go. Iris, you stay by that young lady's side. I'm still suspicious of you. I'm gonna be Bianca's bodyguard, so you go after those bad guys, okay? Yeah, whatever. Hey. This is definitely the place. <laughs> They're all, what, what, what? What are you talking about? We're just, we're just standing here. No one's here, not a soul. No other Team Plasma members, nor any of the Seven Sages are inside. If you think I'm lying, why don't we have a little battle? Yeah, let's, let's find out. I'll take care of this weak-looking grunt so you can show off by handling that tough-looking guy over there. Oh, please, Hatlin, I'll leave that one to you. I could take on one Team Plasma member, as long as he doesn't have a Pat Rat, you know? Pat Rat's god tier, dude. Actually, if I remember correctly, Pat Rat isn't a pseudo-legendary, it's actually a mythical. <laughs> Alright, so we got a little Trap Hinch. Um, just a ground type, I believe. I'll just go Poison Tail. You're gonna get bit. That's it. That's all you got. I mean, he is like 60% mouth. So I guess that's fair. That bite is what he would go for. I love Trapatch. Tri is such a cool Pokemon. And everyone I know in real life hates it because of Pokemon Go. They just like shat on Trapinch for Pokemon Go for some reason. Carablast, um, I should probably swap out a little bit, right? I need other people, other Pokemon to level up. It's because, like, Trapinch came out, it has its, like, CP set, but
But then when you evolve to the, the Brava, its CP goes down for some reason, and a lot of people I knew in real life just hated it for that reason. And I was like, no, guys, Trap Inch is cool. Um, I forgot you don't have any rock type moves. You're like, you're not a very good rock type, Aries. Like, no offense, I love you. But you have no rock type moves. You're, I keep forgetting these are doctors, by the way. A bunch of bad doctors. This is bad. Bad, 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 bad for Team Plasma. Or Plasbad, for short. That's so stupid, I love it. It's in my best interest to go report to the Seven Sages right now. Hey, we to we fucking told you to stay at the fucking pier. What the fuck are you doing here, Bianca? Dude, she's coming to sabotage. She She's trying to lure us into this building. She's like, she's the leader, dude, I swear. She's like, all right, man. Take my Muna, and we're gonna we're gonna pretend that you're robbing me, and then we're gonna trap my friend Hatlin and this random girl Iris who might show up, and the gym leader Berg in into the building, and we're gonna fucking murder them. We're gonna fucking slaughter them. I swear that's Bianca's plan. Even with directions from the extra server, I couldn't figure it out. Team Plasma is inside. The stolen Pokemon may be in there as well. Okay, I'm going in. Okay, this time I'll join the fight. Come on, Bianca, you too. Wee! Hadlin, you come to this. She's, she, she's realizing that the tides are turning and she's trying to stop us. I'm telling you, Bianca's evil, dude. She's evil. I know it. I know it to be true. I feel it in my heart. My word, if it isn't the gym leader, Bird. So, what would you say is the guiding principle of Team Plaza well, anyway? Take what you want from people? Brodius. I thought it would be amusing to prepare a hideout right in front of a Pokemon gym, but we were detected more quickly than what the fuck? It's like, it's like you're gonna start a cr like a criminal enterprise, and you're like, man, we need a base. How about across from the police station, <laughs> directly across the street? That's basically what they did. Indeed, no matter. We already have an exceptional base of operations. Is everyone familiar with the legend of the founding of the Unova region? I am, it's the black dragon. Whoa! Whoa, around here we just say dragon type Pokemon Iris, alright? I don't know why you had to bring color into this. The truth is this the black dragon. Whoa, dude, like calm down. Why are you throwing that around? Dude, he's just a dragon. He's just a dragon. All dragons built the same, dude. You don't have to. This black dragon type. Stop, dude, you need to, you need to stop. <laughs> Gonna <laughs> get my channel flagged. We shall bring back the hero and that Pokemon to the Unova region once again. If we can win people's hearts and minds, we can easily create the world that I, uh, I mean, Team Plasma desires. Here in Castillo, we have a lot of different kinds of people. Everyone's way of thinking and lifestyles are very different. Honestly, there's something about what you're saying I don't quite understand. One thing we all have in common is that we all care about Pokemon. Even people meeting for the first time can talk about Pokemon, talk, or battle, or trade. Remember your speech at the Cumula Town? You were responsible for leading me to rethink my relationship with Pokemon. For that, I thank you. At that time, I made a promise. I swore to myself that I would dedicate myself to Pokemon even more strongly. What you guys are doing, aren't you going to strengthen the bond between people and Pokemon even more? Mia! <laughs> You are quite hard to figure out. A little more intelligent than I'd expected. I am fond of intelligent people. You see, you'll enjoy hearing about this. From every corner of the world, I have gathered knowledgeable people. For our king's benefit. You could call them the Seven Sages. Very well, we will submit to your opinion and be on our way. I like how he just talked his way out of this. He's like, you could probably arrest me right now and put me in prison. But I'll let you go. <laughs> like he had control of the situation. That girl over there, return her Pokemon. Thank you. Money, I'm so glad to see you again. Yeah, oddly convenient that they just gave it back to you, Bianca. Bianca, why are you thanking them? Because she's one of them. I'm telling you. It's just, uh, I'm, I'm so happy that my Muna is safe. Dude, she's fucking one of them. I know it. I feel it in my heart. I feel it in my jellies. The friendship between Pokemon and people can be very touching, but in order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we will revive the legend of Unova and win the hearts and minds of everyone. Farewell!
I don't know why we let them out. What are you doing? Why are you letting him get away? I'm dude, Iris, I'm with you. Maybe Berg's with them as well. Gah! What do we do if anything's happened to other stolen Pokemon? Yeah! Idiot! <laughs> it's okay, thank you, Iris. Yeah, you, of course you would think it's okay. No one was hurt. More than anything, I got my dog. Yeah, that's all you care about, don't you? Okay, if you're happy. Yeah, happy she got away with it. What is everyone planning to do now? Well, dude, I was gonna fucking fight you, but... Oh, it would be sensational to look around Castilla City, but... Don't worry, I'll keep on being your bodyguard. Iris? Please do. Stalk her, dude. F figure out what she's up to. Iris is a dazzling Pokemon trainer, but maybe not at home in the big city yet. So a little give and take, hmm? People in Pokemon need to help each other out. Also, thanks for looking for the other Pokemon. Here, this is for you. And we got a Yacho Bear. Thanks, dude. Fucking gave me a fucking fruit. Put my life on the line and just give me a fruit. Well then, Hatlin, I'll be waiting in the gym across the street. <laughs> what did they drop? A smoke ball. Cool. I don't remember if that's actually what it's supposed to be or if it's something else. Honestly, don't remember. Um, should you heal and then I guess... I don't know, should I do the gym... I probably have enough time to do the gym this episode. But I was kind of hoping it'd be its own episode. I don't know. I'll do it. We'll do the gym. What do you think of Castilla City? I bet with all the bustling people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't talk sometimes. Uh, let's start over. I bet, with all of the bustling people, you started feeling worn down on your way to the gym. Never mind, this will help take it. We got some fresh water. The theme of this gym is bees. I mean honey, I mean bugs. I mean, uh, you'll figure it out. Dude, this is, I bet, this is so cool. This is a cool gym design, and this is fun to do. But, in reality, you would be so fucking sticky. So yeah, you gotta press switches and gates will come down and then you can walk through the honey. And you gotta fight clowns. That's honestly the worst part of the gym probably for most people. You gotta fight clowns. Battles in the Castilla gym are beautiful. They are pure art. That's how the clowns are gonna talk for the rest of the series now, I've decided. <laughs> Scri <laughs> Scribe Kim. Sinnoh and Abra. And I sent out a Rampardos. Alright, I don't know what a level 20 Abra is capable of, but I'm not too concerned because I got a Dark type move. Nice. I was probably going to use Teleport anyways. A Wismer. Alright. This guy really is clowning. Easy. I should probably go in with, um,. I know Egg Woman's the lowest level because I wasn't really planning on keeping her on the team. But maybe I should level her up. So let's press the switch and then I'll open this gate. And then we could walk through some more honey. Fun fact ah! It's probably happened already, so if I went through with it, I could put a picture. But I'm going to go as a bee for Halloween this year uh, Halloween 2020. When you step on the switch, the one that pops up is moi. Oh wait, when you press on the switch, the one that pops up is moi. On that note, have a battle with moi. <laughs> I forgot. I already... From now on, all clowns will sound like this. One minute later. What the fuck do clowns sound like again? <laughs> Scribe Pi. That's a good clown name. Wakokita kind of looks like a clown. It looks like it has makeup on it. Also, worst Pokemon to line up with this, but we got Hurricane. Makes no fucking sense, but we have a Blissey with Hurricane. Nice. You can fight. You can fight fighting types. It's amazing. And then a Garbodor, or, or sorry, Garbodor. I think is how it's actually pronounced. I always, I've always said Garbodor. Garbodor makes more sense. Yeah, just Hurricane. Egg Woman, you're gonna be Hurricane all the time, cause 
your other attacks suck. <laughs> They're good attacks, but her attack stats suck. So the only way she's useful is to use Hurricane or Soft Boil to heal. And this fucking trash pile is slapping the fuck out of me. Stop making me flinch. Thank you. You meant okay. Now you're just missing. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you, Egg Woman? You know what, Egg Woman? I'm not gonna save you here. You gotta win this. You gotta kill this Garbodor if you want to live. I am not switching you out. Cause I feel like you're missing on purpose. All right, so you gotta fight your way out of this. That's that's what I'm. I'm laying down the law. So you better land this hurricane. There you go. See, I I put the stakes up there. I was like, look, your life is on the line, and she 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 got together. And also critical hits. Damn. Ten forty eight P twenty. And Bestow? What the fuck does best or sorry, Bestow do? Not Bestow. The user passes to tell the item to the target when the target is holding an item. That's that's some big that's a big brain move. And I I'm not big brain, so uh we're not gonna learn that. Uh keep old moves. Give up on bestow. Like I bestow this upon you, not bestow. I wasn't hiding on the floor just to lose! Sorry. Sorry, Pycon. Hiding makes battle instincts dull, you know? <laughs> you know, man? You know? <laughs> that was really loud. <laughs> Thank you for going to the trouble of calling me out. I will channel my gratitude into my Pokemon's moves and make sure it gets to you. I have new neighbors, by the way, on this side of the wall, so, uh... They have, they have to deal with my shit. And I've only seen one of them. It's like some older dude, and so I feel even extra bad. All right on, eh? Right on, man. <laughs> oh, actually, I hope this doesn't do too much damage. Okay. <laughs> if he hit more than... If he hit four times, I think I would be dead. Um, I'll go into Sirloin. Sirloin has Sky Uppercut. Or wait, Triple Cut? Oh, so scary. Actually, the right on Sprite in this game looks really cool. Yeah, with Sky Uppercut. Also, I had Bulldoze I could have gone with. Oh, yeah, also, uh, Ares has Bulldoze. I had options. I had a lot of options. Yeah, my team's pretty good right now. Um, I'm not. I don't think I'm super attached to this team, other than Spermy, Sirloin, and um, Scholarship. But it's a pretty good team. We got some pretty good moves, and we've only had two deaths in this Nuzlocke so far. I was defeated by your strong spirit. I'm a clown. If you hadn't stepped on that switch, I'd be stuck and hidden away. Please help me burn traps us in here. <laughs> also, have you fought a single bug type in this gym? I don't think we have. Now, Charon said Berg had a bug type Pokemon. So, he better, he better, he better have one bug type Pokemon is what I'm saying. What do you think? This Pokemon Gym, how should I say, isn't full of outrageous and mysterious charms? It's just honey and clowns. It's kind of weird. It's not really what I would expect when I go into a Pokemon Gym. A Swablu? Dude, hell yeah. Kill it, Spermy. Now, I don't know if the Eviolite takes effect immediately or if it just boots those stats as you level up. So I guess we'll find out when I... Kill the Swamp Blue. But we will probably level up. Oh, you you took it. Paralyzed now, but you took it. Yeah, I don't know the exact effects of the Evil Light instantly. Like, I don't know if it just has better resistance in the defense department or, like I said, if it'll get them when it levels up. I want to see its stat boost right now. Uh, Well, <laughs> they only went up one, so I don't know. A Nido Queen, a fucking Nido Queen. That's probably the strongest thing I fought in here. Uh, I'll go Ares because it is Poison type, and Ares has a Ground type move. Uh, 
All right, so let's go with bulldoze. Oh my god, <laughs> that's not the animation I was expecting. Not, I don't have anything against it. It was a good animation. Just let's just move really rapidly and make noises. <laughs> There we go. The entire team's leveled up, I believe. As a trainer, you are full of charm. Thank you, clown Mel or Malcolm. Uh, I gotta press the switch. Hooray! Cool. So now we can fight the gym leader, Berg. Next episode. Gotcha.